Kamui as a Jutsu has this glaring plot hole, and I'm not talking about the fact that Obito didn't use his Mangekyu to actually perform the Kamui, because that's actually an anime mistake. In the manga, every time Obito used Kamui, his Sharingan was not showing, we couldn't see it. Kishimoto was very intentional in hiding Obito's Mangekyu Sharingan. Just reread the manga, whenever Obito uses Kamui, either passing through things or absorbing things, things, Kishimoto never shows the Sharingan. So this is not a plot hole, it's just something that they did in the anime, there was a mistake, they shouldn't have done that because it creates this plot hole in the imagination of the fandom that doesn't exist. And I am also not talking about how Obito never went blind by spamming Kamui, seeing that every Mangekyo user eventually loses the light in their eyes if they use too much of their powers, but there's actually a very reasonable explanation for that, it's not very difficult to reach that conclusion, Nobito never goes blind because he has access to Hashirama cells. Half of his body is made out of Hashirama cells and we know that Hashirama cells provide the body with a lot of stamina, physical prowess and it can also improve your abilities. It also heals you so essentially the Hashirama cells allow Obito to spam his Mangekyo without too much detriment to his eyesight. As far as I see online, these are the two main complaints people usually have about Kamui when they're talking about its plot holiness, should we say. But before I actually tell you what's the real plot hole with Kamui, subscribe to this channel and like the video to help me out, and also so you never miss any future videos as well, you know, we all win. So the plot hole with Kamui is in the way it actually works. The mechanics of that jutsu are just not very well thought out by Kishimoto, and I don't know exactly what he was going for. And I am more specifically talking about the phasing through things aspect of Kamui that Obito has, it's essentially his trademark, he can pass through things, and that power by itself, I don't have a problem with it, it's, it's just very cool, it makes for very interesting visuals in the battles, and a very difficult power to get around, and whenever a villain has a difficult power to get around, but a power that has a weakness, that's actually interesting to see how the heroes are going to do to beat the villain. The problem is when we find out the way Kamui operates, the way people get around it makes absolutely no sense. So in the war arc, we see that Obito transports the body parts that are being hit in the real world to the Kamui dimension, and we can see that he actually detaches body parts when they're being attacked. And I just find it kind of weird that there's like half of your body in one dimension and half the body is in another dimension. That doesn't really sound very feasible to me, but that's not the problem really. That's okay. It just feels a little goofy, but I can excuse goofiness. That's not the problem. The problem is that, for instance, when someone is punching Obito's face, and then Obito is going to attack someone with his fists, for example, Obito phases through that person with a fist as well, as though the entire body was in the Kamui dimension. And we can clearly see that's not the case. Obito only sends the parts of his body that are being attacked into the Kamui dimension and the other parts stay. So if you think about it, if Obito can send just a fraction of his body, the part that's actually being attacked, what is stopping Obito from attacking you back even when he's phasing through things? Because even though you're punching him in the face, if he actually uses his fist to attack you, he would hit you because his fists are in the real world and not in the Kamui dimension. And that's a huge plot hole and a problem because the way you get around Kamui is because Obito has to materialize if he wants to hit you. So if you hit him while he's trying to hit you, essentially he phases through you completely and you negate his attack. That's shown many different times. Whenever Obito is trying to touch someone like Naruto a couple of times, guy comes in kicking or using his nunchaku to hit Obito, so Obito has to phase through it, and then Obito's hand phases through Naruto as well, because that's the weakness. He cannot touch or hurt anyone while he's actually intangible. But it's not the entire body that's intangible, it's just the part being attacked. Why wouldn't Obito just use the body parts that are still in the material plane, shall we say, and attack back? Of course, the jutsu works like that for the sake of 
balancing it, but it doesn't make sense the way it is presented. Obito should just be able to face through and attack people at the same time. And I know this would make him absolutely unstoppable and completely busted, but that's how the jutsu operates in the way they show it to us. Because if half of Obito's body is in there, but his arms are not in the Kamui dimension, what is stopping Obito from using his arms in order to attack his opponents even though he's phasing through an attack? I just don't understand this decision of sending body parts into the Kamui dimension, it doesn't make sense to me. We can see that whenever his entire body is engulfed by an attack, like when he got engulfed by Ibijudama, then his entire body is transported into the Kamui dimension when he phases through. And that is what should happen every time Obito uses Kamui. Whenever he phases through anything, no matter how small it is, his entire body should be sent to the Kamui dimension. Because if his entire body is in the Kamui dimension, then Kamui's weakness, being that you can't phase through an attack at the same time, would be justified. But it's not like that. And that would be such a very easy fix to do just send Obito's entire body into the Kamui dimension when you show how his jutsu works, and it wouldn't change anything in the story. And now you just have this power that doesn't work how it should, and you're just questioning, okay, why isn't this guy just destroying everyone, phasing through their attacks, and attacking them at the same time? Because it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But what do you guys think? Comment below, also subscribe to the channel if you enjoy videos like this, with weird different Naruto topics, and like the video as well if you enjoyed it or never thought about it. Thanks for watching.